Hey, Shalom. This is Brother Daniela. Come back again with another lesson through the Spirit. Giving all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Arachach Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the hopeful elect brethren, teaching and pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom. So this is a response video to uh, uh, this brother here out in New York, um, the brother Shimon. Uh, title of his video was GMS to the brother from India and in this video you know he uh, he you know talks about uh, how he sees a comment from um, an individual who said he was from India right and you know he was uh, making a point that you know just because you look like one of these heathen nations that doesn't mean that you you can't be an Israelite right because Israel was scattered all throughout the nations, man, and we're gonna look like all these other people, right? So, just a response video to that. Um, here I typed in uh, in the uh, you know the um, the Bible search engine here, uh, scatter, right? Um, first, let me get um, let me get go here and get to uh, Numbers chapter one and verse eighteen. Because he, you know, made a great point in saying um, that the, uh, you know, your appearance doesn't decide uh, your nationality. Nas nationality is decided by seed, right? And, you know, living in this society, Esau has made everything through his deception, right? Deceiving people into thinking that your appearance Decides your nationality. Right? But let's see what the scriptures say. This is Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18. And uh, they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they declared their pedigrees after their families. And when you look up a pedigree, it's, uh, it's, it's basically a, um, a, a, a lineage okay uh, of, 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 uh, of men this is they declared their pedigrees after their families this is by the house of their fathers according to the number of their names from 20 years years old and upward by their poles right so you know your father decides your nationality right so you know father's a man and a man carries the seed right so it's the seed that decides what the thing is you know, same thing can be uh, said for, hey, outside of man. Um, uh, same thing can be said for plants, right? You have an apple tree. Uh, it has an apple seed. And you plant that in whatever ground, okay, where it's fertile and, and it has the ability um, to be nurtured and to grow, to be cultivated. When it grows into a full-grown tree and it bears fruit, it, it's an apple tree. You know, and same thing, peach tree, uh, um, avocado tree, you know, so forth and so on. So it's the same thing. Every is it's decided by seed, right? Now, you know, for those brothers who do look like, you know, uh, uh, heathens, you know, say you may look like, like uh, Chinese, which is a Moabite. Uh, you might look Japanese, it's Ammonite. Right, an Elamite Indian. In this case, this brother was a, a, a an Elamite. Right, if you believe in this truth, right, and you can understand these scriptures, all right, as it's being broken down to you, you can understand it. Then you're an Israelite. It's that simple, man. Right. Now, Yahweh Shai said, "Judge not uh, according to appearance." Let's get that. So like you bear with me for a second. Searching up the scripture. We should be in the New Testament. All right? This is John 7 and 24. It says, Judge not according to appearance, judge righteous judgment. All right? So, hey, you may have a uh, a brother who, who's coming up to the camp. Or you may have an individual who's coming up to the camp. He may look like a straight up Chinese person, right? Chinky eyes and everything. 
right? Straight jet black hair, might be kind of short, right? But he's coming up to inquire, you know? You know, he said, he might say, well, my dad's Chinese, right? Or, or, or uh, an Ammonite, or, or for that matter, you know? He might come up, he might be Japanese, right? You know, we can't dis dismiss him if he's actually coming up to listen and inquire about the scriptures humbly. That could be an Israelite, right? Because really, and, you know, the brother uh, said this in his video also, only Israelites can understand this thing, right? Okay, only Israelites can understand this thing and teach this thing, right? Because there's brothers all around the world who look like so-called white people, right? So-called uh, white guys, so-called Africans, right? There's Israelites who look like that because we've been scattered all over, all throughout the nations, right? So, let me get that. This is... Uh, let me type in scattered. It's a lucky if I'm all over the place. Uh, I didn't really have this planned out. Uh, I'll type it in scattered. It's a lucky if uh, there's any background noise. I'm at the plantation. I got a little break. So I decided, you know. Um, do a video real quick. This is um, Salaki. Type in scatter. All right. So this is gonna be um, Deuteronomy. Is is a bunch of scriptures that come up. Here, Deuteronomy 4 and 27, it says, And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whither the Lord shall lead you. All right, so the nation of Israel was scattered amongst these uh, other nations. All right? He was scattered amongst these other nations, and, um, Asalakia. These people all of a sudden start getting extremely loud. Uh, he was scattered amongst the nation, and um, we, we were scattered amongst the nations, right? And when you have uh, uh, people who are scat scattered amongst, uh, when our people were scattered amongst these other nations, right? The men lie, lie down with the women, right? And had sons and daughters with them, right? And... Um, a good example to uh, actually look into would be um, the uh, this uh, this Jake, whose name was Yasuke, all right, which was a black samurai, a so-called black samurai, right? He was a Jake samurai who was brought uh, from Mozambique to uh, Japan, and he became a samurai, right? And there's even a, a, a legacy of um, of powerful. Uh, shoguns in Japan who were from, you know, uh, uh, who were Jakes, right? So then you have, then over process of time, you, you start to get those different features, okay, of those, uh, uh, of those Ammonites, okay, or those Japanese people looking, uh, right, those different features start to, uh, uh basically, uh, take take hold uh, of generation after generation right so now Israelite he looks like an Ammonite right but just as we read by the house of his father okay through his sea he's an Israelite right so uh, we have here uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 64 it says and the Lord shall scatter thee among all people right all nations right Including India, the so-called so Elamites. So we got brothers that look like Elamites, all right? From one end of the earth, even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy, nor thy fathers have known, even wooden stone, all right? And this all, this all came to pass, all right? Look at us now. Where are we at? We're scattered, right? We're, we're over here in America. When originally we were in Israel, right? We're all dispersed all over the place, man. 
Okay. Um, let me get another scripture uh, before I forget. Oh man, hope it don't. Uh, oh man, Satan. Forgot this the the scripture I wanted to get. Uh, Lord willing to come back to me. But uh, yeah, okay, right, right, okay, yeah. The body I got should not shine. Uh, it's uh, this is um, this is Isaiah chapter fifty nine, and let's see here. I'm going to start at 19, right? Because as I mentioned earlier, only Israelites can understand this, right? And teach this truth, right? And we got brothers that look like so-called white people, man. You know? We got brothers that look like other nations that are teaching, man. Right? So you can't teach or prophesy unless you're an Israelite, right? That's this uh, uh, Romans, the ninth chapter right there. Right, saying uh, uh, who are is Paul saying uh, who are Israelites to who pertaineth the adoption, the covenants, the promise, the service of the Most High. Right? How do you serve the who who are the servants of the Most High, man? The prophets, right? When you prophesy uh, uh, in the name of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you're serving the Most High, right? So the service of the Most High, being a prophet, they're Israelites. There you go, right? So. Um, let me see here. Okay, Isaiah chapter 59. I'm going to start at verse 20. It says, And the Redeemer shall come to Zion, and unto them that turn from transgression in Jacob. Right? So, Israel. Right? Israelites. Right? The Redeemer is coming to Israel. Right? No other nation. It says, As for me, this is my covenant with them, saith the Lord. My spirit that is upon thee, okay, the Israelites, okay, and my words which I put in thy mouth shall not depart out of the mouth, out of thy mouth, right, nor out of the mouth of thy seed, right, nor out of the mouth of thy seed's seed, saith the Lord from henceforth and forever, right, so the spirit Right, or the, or the Holy Spirit is the uh, is these words, man, and the understanding thereof. Right, so if 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 you're under if you're understanding this truth, and you may may look like a Japanese person, a Chinese person, a uh, Indian person, right, but you can understand these truth, this truth, and you believe these words, then you're an Israelite. Is this that's just plain and simple, right there, right? You're an Israelite because. Just as we read, the, the, the spirit is going to stay on Israelites, man. Right? This is, uh, uh, you, know, this, you know, it's going to stay on Israelites. Only Israelites can understand. And only Israelites can prophesy and teach. Only Israelites can uh, have the service of the Most High. Right? So, you know... For those brothers who, uh, who may look like these uh, other nations, you know, you know, you know, it's, it's nothing to be uh, discouraged about, because if you believe this, this truth, and it resonates with you, then you know, you're most you're you're an Israelite, okay? You know, um, no matter what you know, no matter uh, what nationality you look like, because it's not based upon nationality, Salakia. No, no matter, uh, it's not based upon what you look like, it's based upon bloodline, right? And, you know, though you may look like these other nations, you still have a, 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 a spirit of an Israelite, right? So let me see here. This is, just to, you know, just to back up what I was saying before about the service of the Most High. This is our Romans chapter 9 and verse 4. Um, I started verse 3. It says, For I could wish myself, wish that myself were accursed from 
from Hamashiach, from my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh. So this is uh, Apostle Paul, who was an Israelite from the tribe of Benjamin, right? This is that's Romans 11, all right, in the first verse, all right. So he's talking about his kinsmen, right? Um, members of his of the same nation, right? You know, uh, kinsmen are people who come from the same person, right? Who originate from the same, you know, person. It says, who are Israelites? To who partained the adoption, right? The glory, the covenants, right? Because the Lord only made covenants with Israel. He only gave the law, statutes, and commandments unto us. Oh, I was about to say it. And the giving of the law, right? And the service of the Most High, right? The service of the Most High. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, being a prophet all right and the promises right so you know I, I believe I, I you know made the point but you know you know for those brothers who, who look like uh, other nations you know if hey if, if you're watching this and you see uh, if, you, if you're seeing this video you know if if this truth resonates with you right and you 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 understand this uh, uh, clearly, then, hey, you know, then you're an Israelite, you know. But uh, with that, you know, just wanted to do a quick video. But with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rechak Vadash, the warnings to the elders and apostles, a great millstone, and Shalom to the hopeful elect brethren, teaching and pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.